So where are we going today, Shane? I'm going to do a gig in Black Box in Belfast. I'm, I'm trying out my Edinburgh show to see if it's funny or not. I've sort of tested 40% of it, but the rest is um, wait and see. It, it could work, it could not work. But gigs like this are just, could, well, could go either way. You bill it as a work in progress show in brackets at the end, which basically, you may as well write in brackets, this might not be good whatsoever. But I'm looking forward to it. It's always good to do new stuff. I actually did my first gig in Black Box in this green room when I was like 19. So you think I, you've improved since then? Well, I'm in the same room, so no. I'm, I'm playing exactly the same. Like, I've not moved up to like a bigger venue. I'm in exactly the same room. So at least I haven't gone backwards. I'm consistent, if anything. So I'm just going through everything at the minute and making sure that it hit every point because I haven't done loads of this stuff before. So there's a chance I could tell completely different to the last time I did it or I'll leave something out or even better, like something new will just crop up out of nowhere and then I can use that in Edinburgh. There's so little gig space here. There's so little stage time for stand-ups that I'd lo like if I was in London, I could be gigging three times a night, maybe four, theoretically, if I wanted to. And I could test all this out. And I could have been doing that for the last number of months. So by now, I would have a really good idea of what works and what doesn't. But because there's so little gigs here, you, you can't just go and test. So I might say there's one gig in Oma that I play, and I do that once or twice a year. Well, I'm not really going to go up with stuff I don't know if it works. I'm only, if I'm headlining or whatever, or or opening the show, I need to make sure it's good, so I'm not going to take a chance. So the only way I get to test stuff is these solo shows. So like main point here, for example, so that's a bit of material about Star Wars. And then these are bits that I, pointers that I have to mention. I'll take something similar to this on stage tonight, just because it's a work in progress show, like normally I'm not lugging that around with me. And this is... I feel like it's MTV Cribs. This is in green material that I've done before in, would you say it's salmon? I think it's a, it's a nice salmon, yes. <laughs> in, sa in salmon, that's stuff that I've done before but I'm not 100% comfortable with it yet or I don't know it. And in yellow, is stuff that I've never done before. There's a guarantee that some of that won't work. I've just realized talking to you now that my closure is about a GAA club. So, chances are in Edinburgh, 90% of people won't I have to explain that. And then the more I explain it, the less funny it gets. So, I've just <laughs> now had to rethink my closure for Edinburgh. I thought that was kind of nailed on, but now I've realised that that's, that's not going to work. So, that's good. Doing a gig in Belfast tonight, you could easily just talk about Northern Ireland the whole time. The Troubles, mention local place names and be like, it's a bit rough up there. And you'll get great laughs the whole night. If you have ambition to gig, not just here, but outside of here, UK, America, Australia, places all around the world, then you need to do stuff that isn't just Northern Irish. You need to have sort of broader references. There he is. This is the way I sit every, <laughs> every day, just staring out at people. And obviously people don't know you do stand up. So they just always, and I feel the need to wave at everyone as they go past. I should theoretically be about 80 in doing this because I'm just like the wee man that sort of no one really knows what he does. Um, so I just watch it. I just watch, watch, watch all the folks come and go from their real jobs and I sit here and write jokes about colonoscopies. I'm so worried about this now. <laughs> there he goes. We're going into the green room, which is the smaller room. I'm very apprehensive. I'm looking at this and it's not making any sense to me. Dave's going to bring you on just, he's literally going to be like, give it off Kieran Bartlett. Uh, 15, 20, 20 at the most. Yeah, no worries. And then if you can announce, there'll be a five minute break. Yeah. That'd be great. And All then right. have a it. Swing it, no problem. Yeah. I would just look at a set and go, none of this is funny. 
We've just found out as well that the show we're doing here next week, so we added a show when this sold out, has already sold 20 tickets and this holds about 60. And that was only announced yesterday, so at least if, I'm not being defeatist, but at least if this doesn't go brilliant, and maybe have a chance to make up for it next week with a good show. Just be like, please welcome uh, Kieran Bartlett. Or no, you say, okay, so Kieran Bartlett's gonna do a warm-up set here. Graham, Graham. Dave's gonna bring Kieran on. The warm-up was good, and that's always a, a good sign. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I want to get out there. This is the part I get up rents about the break when people go for a smoke, go for a drink, and you've got to sort of make sure they're all back in because you want them to see every second of your stand-up so they get later references that are linked to early bits. But now that I'm in this headspace, I remember doing my first gig here when I was like 19. And I think I'm more nervous now because I had not invested in it at that stage. Even though it was my first gig and I was like, Shit, I didn't stand up. It, it didn't matter if it didn't go well because I was going to college the next day or whatever, whereas now this is what I do, so I can't really afford to get it wrong. I just don't want to muck it up so bad, and that probably affects me in a way. Is that one? Okay. I'm just about to go on now. Yeah. Go on about one or two minutes. I don't think there's anyone not here either. You know. Great. See if you go through next door, yeah, yeah. into the big room, and yeah. go right the way through. There's toilets in there. Yeah. Build them way up if you can. I hate this moment, about a minute before you go on. Right, I think we'll go. Yeah. i do this for shit. I told my mum that I was doing Edinburgh this year. I was like, uh, that's it, confirmed, doing Edinburgh. And she was doing a Sudoku, and she didn't look up. She just said, should have thought before she said it. You know, she might want to maybe give me like a motivational thing, like it'll be great, or I'm sure you're looking forward to it. My mum didn't look up and genuinely said, that's funny, I'm reading a book about a comedian who gets murdered at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. <laughs> and within 12 seconds, he's belting it out. Whole audience bar her just clapping along. <laughs> He's pointing and winking at her. She. <laughs> uh, so you could do a video. Um, <laughs> bear in mind they're not on my side up until this point. I go, for example, mate, you could do a video where, where you're a spy. What is this double act you've got me into? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Just to let you know, are you planning to do that for any more jokes or can I? <laughs> if, if you're gonna take any part of the joke, take the opening. I'd, I'd prefer the punchline, <laughs> if, that's, if that's good with you. Sit down for God's sake. So, <laughs> new character! <laughs> Pascal, I'm calling him. That'll be online tonight. Um, you guys have been genuinely really, really nice. Um, one, i do one quick before I go just to save you telling me to do an encore. Um, <laughs> I'm Shane Pollock. Go out tonight. I left out loads of stuff. I don't know how long I did. I normally like set my watch to know how long I've done, but I forgot to do that before I went on. I don't know what time I started at, so I have no idea how long I did, but it was really good fun. Started strong. There was a point where I felt the energy dip down a bit. I'll look over my set again and I'll see, can I identify what that bit of material is? And is there a bit I can put there that will definitely bring the energy back up for a strong finish? 
I find it even hard to sort of talk whenever I've just done a show. And then next Tuesday we're doing the show, same place, same time. I don't think I'll change that much. I'll probably do it again just to get two audiences' opinions on it because a different audience might laugh at bits they didn't or vice versa. So I'll probably keep it the way it is, even though I know bits should be changed. And then when I do it after that, I'll, I'll properly do wholesale changes. I, I enjoyed it. There will be a period as well, pretty soon, probably tonight, where I'll think that went terribly. I'll just switch. I've gigged in Belfast a lot of times, and I kind of know that I can now do a good small size show. Could I have got the same reaction in New York? Could I have got the same reaction in Sydney or Stockholm? And I, I, that's when I'm dying to know. I sort of, I'm definitely capable of bad gigs here, of course. I'm not every bit works, but I, I know for the most part I can deliver now a strong set in Belfast, but can I do it in other places? I, I genuinely don't know, and that eats away at me, something job. How are you going to find out? Just by going, I mean, I'm I, I, I convinced I will at some point. I don't know, I just kind of feel like I will get the opportunity to do it. If I, if I want it badly enough, then I, I, I do, and I think people can see that. Hold on, don't talk to me for a second. Delighted. I'm delighted with that. Yep. This is the first time I've gone A3. And it's been a catastrophe. I'm going back to A4 after this. It's new territory. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm just not ready for A3, Adam. Right.